huge underdog to Oklahoma. That night, Arkansas pulled off the greatest upset in Orange Bowl history, routing Oklahoma 31 to 6 and denying the Sooners the national championship. Can Arkansas upset again tonight? presents the 1987 Orange Bowl game. Tonight, the Arkansas Razorbacks go against the Oklahoma Sooners. Tonight's game is brought to you by Chrysler. At Chrysler, they're driving to be the best. By John Hancock Financial Services, real life, real answers. And by Michelob, so exceptionally smooth, the night belongs to Michelob. from Miami, Florida. Right now, the Razorbacks and the Sooners are ready to kick it off in the 1987 Orange Bowl. Oklahoma wearing the maroon jerseys. These two schools have the same colors. And back deep is the fastest Razorback. Bounty centers for Arkansas. Flyer. Todd Thompson is ready to kick the ball off now for Oklahoma. These teams, this is only the third meeting since 1926. Short kickoff. Centers will have a problem, though. He's got to let it bounce, and he's in deep heat now. Fields it back at the six, and the Sooners come calling, and they get him down at the 11-yard line. Greg Thomas, a very good quarterback, brings up the offensive unit for Arkansas. They run the flex bone, they call it, very similar to the wishbone. His running backs will be Joe Johnson, and the fullback is Derek Thomas, Dammy Van Dyke. Also in the backfield, Johnson, one of the fastest backs, Van Dyke, averaging 4-4 a carry. Shebes, a great receiver. He'll get the ball maybe a lot tonight. Another good receiver has only caught seven balls is Theo Young, the tight end. Right now, the Hawks start with two tight ends. They're going to run the ball at Oklahoma. End up goes to Joe Johnson, and he doesn't get much, but... Offensive lineman, Big David Smart from Bryant, Arkansas. Limbo Parks from Kansas City. Brian White's the center. He's from Fort Smith, Arkansas. And there is the biggest hog of all, Freddie Childress, and their best offensive lineman. Last time they hit him at the ice house, he was 350. Chris Beckett, the right tackle. Junior already in law school. He's already graduated as an undergrad. After a two-yard gain on the first carry, Greg Thomas is ready to throw. He swings it out. Coming out of the backfield is the fullback, Derek Thomas. And quarterbacks, when it goes to the alternate receiver, the secondary receiver, they look for helmets. The colors are the same. The only difference is there's a Razorback for Arkansas and an OU for Oklahoma. Just saw the defensive front of the Oklahoma Sooners, Richard Reed, Dottie Williams, and Steve Bryan across the front. Outside linebackers are Daryl Reed and Troy Johnson. And now the Sooners put on the rush. Paul Miliazzo, senior linebacker from Kansas City, a key player in the defense. Dante Jones, a junior from Dallas, good player, but he's not Bosworth, and that's who he's starting for tonight. Sonny Brown has been a standout player. Starts at one corner. Ricky Dixon, a very good free safety. David Vickers made All-American at safety this year for the Sooners. And Derek White starts at the right corner. So now, Thomas looks to throw again. Eludes the rush and takes it straight ahead. Oh, Downfield. Patrick Collins is down there, and he's going to take the ball at the 35-yard line for Oklahoma. And Collins is out to the 44-yard line. Brian Bassworth looking on as the Sooners get set to go. First down and 10. Jamel Holloway, hands up, breaking into open field for the moment as Tillman, and good defense by Arkansas. Jamel Holloway, the sophomore from Carson, California, the man who makes the wishbone go at Oklahoma. Ernie Johnson, Earl Johnson's had a spectacular year at fullback after coming off an injury, averaging seven and a half yards a carry. Tillman, a senior starter, only senior in the backfield. He averages six five a carry. And Patrick Collins averages an even six yards per pop. Wishbone handoff goes to the fullback, Earl Johnson. Uh, Derek Shepard, wide receiver for the Sooners. He's a senior, doesn't get the ball open. Keith Jackson, the best tight end in America, according to the All-America polls. The linemen are huge. John Phillips at 275 from Tulsa. This guy's a sophomore. Hudson, he's already an All-American. Travis Simpson is a senior. Anthony
Anthony Phillips, brother of John, the right guard, and the right tackle is Greg Johnson. Hits back goes, and running with the ball is Collins. They miss it in the backfield, and on third down and six, Patrick Collins gets the ball across the field to about the 49 yards. So Todd Thompson is in now to punt the ball for Oklahoma, hits it very well into the wind. At the open end of the orange ball, it is through the end zone and out. And Arkansas has the ball in this scoreless game for a second time. Van Dyke with a problem as Oklahoma with the number one defense in America and that's the flex ball with the other half backed off his wingbacks really. Thomas putting up again. A good passer, he gets it out and a drop ball by Joe Johnson. Southwest Conference does the uh, Hatfield coach Arkansas team over that three-year period. Here's a throw downfield. Ball is caught by Sheba. Best receiver in Arkansas history and he's out across the 45-yard line and just caught one for 27. First down. To the run they go. Van Dyke again to the 41 yard line. Now Coach Switzer, this game means a lot to him. He's from Arkansas, played at Arkansas, and is still not that over the upset loss in 78. Childress about 350 pounds, and he's a second team All-American as a sophomore. They've been going behind him. Third down throw by Thomas. Jumping it off with the ball Van Dyke and the students get him short. Measured from the nearest yard marker to the upright, so it's a 52 yarder. Oklahoma goes on offense. First back is Lydell Carr, the junior fullback. Second down and five comes up now for the Sooners. There's no score. Sooners went out three downs. Three downs and out their first possession. And up again, straight up the middle to Lydell Carr. That's a whole lot better than the boa constrictor that Jericho has in his room. Pitch back. And Sir Tillman tries to turn up field and again. Arkansas. So, so far, the overpowering Oklahoma running game has been shut down. A punt unloaded downfield by Thompson. Back is Sheba. He runs it back now to the 16-yard line. These guys are human beings. We're doing all right. So far, the Sooners don't have a first down. Greg Thomas in trouble back at the 17-yard line. He can catch it. Don't go to him often. Play fake. Keeps it himself, working hard on a second and ten play to get a hit for maybe five. But tonight, Arkansas has the only offense in this game so far. Quarterback, quarterback draw, call play, and a third down and four. It's going to be very close to a first down. Number eight, led the Razorbacks in rushing with 660 yards. Looking to throw, he's looking at centers, now he jumps it up. Coming out of the backfield is Joe Johnson, who dropped one earlier. Second and three. Looking into open field on the pitch back from Jamel Holloway is 
Spencer Tillman. And Tillman might go the distance. He's going to take it in. And so, the Oklahoma offense, without a first down until that play, detonates a 77-yard touchdown play on the pit track from Janelle Holloway to the senior runner, Spencer Tillman. And Oklahoma breaks it open and goes on the board. I'm sure Ken Hatfield's biggest fear, the electrifying offense of Oklahoma, and Oklahoma's on the board. And the extra point is hit up and good by Tim Lasher. So Oklahoma makes it happen fast. And up to that point, there'd been no first down for Oklahoma now. It's a 7-0 game Sooners. Another tough-to-handle kickoff that centers field back inside his five. And Oklahoma knocks him down at the 16-yard line. Arkansas looking at a blitz. They pick up Neely Azza, the linebacker who is coming up, throwing a strike to Shebeth. He's out to the 32-yard line. Working pretty well so far, but right now, Arkansas has got to get back in it as they're going for the big one. Down there is Donnie Sanders. He can't make a play on the ball. It's 7-0 Oklahoma. Up back to fullback Derek Thomas. Greg Thomas has thrown well. Five of eight for 63 yards. He gets some time, but he runs out of it. It's incomplete, and there's up to a penalty marker down. And Second down and nine. Throw down the middle. It's intercepted by Sonny Brown, who a year ago was the most valuable player for Oklahoma in their national championship win over Penn State. Well, Oklahoma, after the Sonny Brown interception, stops the Arkansas drive. Sooners go to the run and very quick nose tackle Tony Cherico again. Defensive line. Come 
senior from Delta. Earl Johnson. Third down and five. Pitch back Tillman. He's going in. Spencer Tillman with his second touchdown of the game on the pitch back from Holloway from 21 yards up. Great block by Patrick Collins out in front of him. The half breaks the game open and goes in front of the extra point, 14 to nothing, with 2.53 to play in the first half. Nine plays, 54 yards. When you face the wishbone, what they try to do is isolate players. Now you can see there's one guy out here to try to make or make the tackle on Tillman. He gets blocked by the offensive line, and Tillman just skates in for his second score. The one thing that Oklahoma possesses in just sheer abundance is foot speed. Tillman has shown it twice already in his first half. Two things you can't count, speed and luck. They've gotten the turnovers, and Downey Sanders runs it back across the 15. Arkansas is warming up its long-range bomber, Jay Cleveland, a passer who can throw it the length of the field about it. The Orange Bowl with its usual unbelievable halftime spectacular coming out. We're two minutes and nine seconds from halftime. thrown. Other than that, they played very well. I think the uh, offensive stats will probably be pretty good for Arkansas. Time of possession, certainly in favor of the Razorbacks, but that shocking foot speed of the Oklahoma wishbone, and Arkansas is down 14 to nothing. If they don't get away from their game plan, they'll stay with those slants, but pretty soon they're going to have to go to a passing game. Right now, they're going to run back the third quarter kickoff. Taking out the head is Marshall Foreman, and he's close to the 35-yard line. He had only one interception in the previous 11 games this season. Thomas takes a big league pop. Out of Sooner, Texans are in Sooner Crimson is right now. The rush is on, and down goes Greg Thomas. Richard Reed gets him. Williams is from Gainesville, Texas. Texas one from Kansas City. Here's a free ball. It's going to be ruled a sack back of the 13-yard line. The blind a bit. Now the ball hits downfield, and Patrick Collins is back deep for Oklahoma, along with Derek White. It carries short. Greg Horn, a 47-yard putter on the average. 84% wins in his 14 years at Oklahoma. Now has his offense on the field again with a 14-0 third-quarter lead. It's super fast player now in the Oklahoma backfield, Anthony Stafford, as Jamel Holloway puts it up long. He's got Derek Shepard open, and Shepard takes it inside the 10 and down to the six-yard line. The Sooners ready to try to bang it out in now at their power offense. Johnson, the fullback, gets to 
the four yard line got only two or three then when he signed with Oklahoma shotgun Phillips went through his front window and now and up goes down to the two yard line That's right the last center appearance of the Orange Bowl was in the national championship game of the Orange Bowl a year ago it was the loss to Miami on September 29th and now the Sooners go in again Janelle Holloway keeps it and takes it in Smith, defensive coordinator for Arkansas, so something he didn't like, and six more goes on the board for the Sooners with 10:41 to play in the third quarter. It is now 20 to nothing, Oklahoma. Both those Tillman touchdowns set up by his beautiful faking with the ball, drawing the tackler to him, and now Lasher hits the point after, and with 10:41 to go in the third quarter, the Sooners go on the board with another score and a 21 to nothing lead. You can see the missed tackle; they almost get it done, but Holloway with great strength into the end zone. every play whether they have it or not and that's why Holloway told us he put on 20 pounds weightlifting in the offseason he, he lost a step maybe but he's going to survive longer as Derek Thomas Thomas takes it at Oklahoma now the Sooners are a team that is a lot on the average not good for Arkansas the engine in the offense Greg Thomas on the sideline and now John Bland comes in unwarmed up does get the handoff off but it changes nothing get the top of your screen done by Sonny Brown. Once okay. downfield and the catch is made in the knockdown right there at the 30-yard line. And Brian Bosworth, the suspended linebacker, had this T-shirt made up apparently. He's just put on display. We'll try to catch what it says. We'll show it to you. Something about the National Communists Against Athletes. <laughs> it's not Happy New Year. <laughs> seconds to go in the third quarter. Holloway calls number four and Jamel has his second six of the night. They've worn him down. The Razorbacks were fired up in the first quarter and a half. And the superior talent won of Oklahoma. This is Mississippi back. Arkansas. Now the extra point drill is through again by Lasher. So Jamel Holloway, the sophomore with his great quickness turns up and in and nobody lays a glove on him and it's 28 nothing sooner the estable here on nbc sports airtime at eight o'clock eastern time kickoff by oklahoma is into the end zone and marshall foreman downs the ball and shut out their opponents and ran right over him thomas back in nicely done by sammy van dyke a spinning catch it beaten badly the championship went to notre dame Overall defense against the run, against the pass, against scoring. Running with the ball for a first down is Greg Thomas. They're a team that just kills your confidence, kills your emotion in the game. End around to Theo Young, but the Sooners don't fight. I was pleasantly surprised at their 9-2 record and second place finish in the Southwest Conference. A pattern to Johnson out of the backfield. He's Sooners brought 100 players to the Orange Bowl. A lot of guys will be winning their letter tonight. Look at that. Eating them alive. Donnie Jones. I'm, I must be a great football player. Not bad. Downfield punt. Three ball. Sooners are on it, though. Eric Mitchell, a quarterback, was back to return the kick. You all know Bubba. Oklahoma with the ball in the third quarter and a 28 to nothing lead. In the round, here comes All-American Keith Jackson. Taking on 
on tacklers, and he's ahead for a gain of almost nine yards. Missouri and Kansas. That turned out to be a pretty darn good team. 
but they make it work as Anthony Stafford is down to the goal line and he's in. It goes at 34 nothing sooner. 13 yards and an Oklahoma touchdown. Down on the pitch tonight. Three touchdowns have been scored with six minutes left to go. The extra point by Lasher is on the way. Good again at 35 to nothing. And three plays, 59 yards, and the Sooners are back in the end zone. Now extend their lead to 35 to nothing. Marshall Foreman. Down to the 22-yard line. Roll out. John Bland throws a strike to Shebest, and he is across the 40, has a first down for Arkansas. the quarterback 
some excitement on a long night for Arkansas with 19 seconds to play. They score on a fullback dive by Derek Thomas. Hogs going down, using every second to fight it out. Out man tonight. The Oklahoma's ball right now. 